What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Souls. A lot of people wanted to see this. Uh, this is the HK Ultra One smartwatch with loads of features. It's got the Android operating system, 4G network, AMOLED display and lots of other features. Just before I get started, make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above as I always put up sneak peeks on what to expect on All Souls. And as always, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when you any video, you'll actually be notified. I have done the previous JS Hello 3 Plus. This is the latest Hello Watch 3 Plus by JS. It's got some really good features as well. Here it is. <clears throat> it actually looks similar to the original. I will be doing other videos with this, so make sure you do subscribe. If you want to see the unboxing review of this, make sure you check out my previous video or check out the playlist. So here we have the HK Ultra One. In this video today, we will unbox and review it, see what we get inside, see what the design is like on the smartwatch and then see the operating system to see what features we get so take a look at the box we've got the hk ultra one uh, amoled display 485 times 520 amoled display android uh, operating system 4g network take a look at the back look how much some of the features it's got 4g network wi-fi enabled wechat feature android operating system google facebook youtube tiktok nfc games uh, gps positioning you can control photographs uh heart rate ai voice compass and music so here is what the watch is like it's an ultra version and some of the trademarks are made in china as is everything else you got a 4g android watch and it's a hk ultra 149 millimeter and i've opted it in black so let's unbox it thoughts with this smartwatch it's actually darker than the original i have got a side mounted camera which we have here it's got also got the crown the power button is much more smaller uh, because of this camera lens taking a look at the back as you can see you got text around the sensors you have your charging um, here for your four pin charger here it's got the watch band buttons and also some real screws the sport button is also a sim card tray so you can actually put a 4g sim card in let's open this up right there so you can put a 4g sim card in make phone calls receive phone calls do uh, make text messages and so on you have got a speaker grill right there with mic fake mic cutouts and also one real mic cutout at the top and a fake one at the bottom let's switch it on just to show you what it's like so you've got a vibration saying hello it does take a little bit of time to boot up as this is running android and uh, it will actually say android is starting but overall it is really nice it's really light as well so i have got some other uh, videos to actually do comparison wise because we have got a few other smartwatch that has uh, camera lens uh, there's one uh, i've done that has a camera inside of the crown so you can check out my previous videos for that as you can see android is starting we've got loading here we'll take a look at some of the features so holding in to see what watch faces we got like i said you can actually put your own watch faces on there once you connect it to your app it says please insert a sim card but we'll no point in doing that so it has got a few preloaded watch faces are and they are dynamic because you can actually change it as well different colors it is a bit little bit cheap material though look 
really a kind of cheap material so let's see what features it's got swiping down as you can see you've got your shortcut so that is your wi-fi uh here we have your bluetooth here we have your sim card your your uh, cellular uh, and your internet but it's got no sim card in here we have do not disturb loud or silent here you've got your brightness you've got your loudness as well airplane mode which will leave on uh, you've got your settings and also this is ultra saving mode which will uh, leave off at the moment you've got your settings which we'll go into so here is your network and settings and you can actually connect it to wi-fi bluetooth you can also got hotspot tethering if you put your own sim card in as well so that's a good feature to have and also airplane mode Connected devices that contains your Bluetooth will turn that off because it's just going to kill the battery. Chromebook and nearby sharing as well. Your apps and notifications because once you download the apps, you can control them from here. See all 24 apps. So here is some of the apps. It's already got pre-loaded on here. So it's also got the Play Store, which you can download all the apps from as well. So going back, swipe back does work, which is really good. Battery. So here is the battery settings. So last full charge is two minutes ago. Uh, screen usage since full charge, two minutes. Battery percentage, you can toggle that on and off. Sleep. Uh, choose battery saver. You got your smart saving mode, low power mode, and ultra saving mode. You got your schedule power, battery settings, app stand uh, standby optimizer, and a few other features for your battery. Display. You got your brightness level to 100, night light. Uh, you also got your palm press this off the screen, uh, raise to wake and advance, which gives you sleep, suspension, touch font size and display size uh, you got your schedule power on and off you can choose that audio profiles you got a general vibrate and uh, silent storage as you can see here it's got a 32 gig of memory and uh, it's only got nine gig left so it's 29 percent use or oh, nine gig use i don't know storage money you can toggle that on and off right there uh, going into security and location you got your google play protect security update find my device screen lock uh, location show passwords and a few other features google it's got the google system as well which i'm pretty sure you have to sign into which i'm not going to do at the moment because it's not connected to wi-fi system language and import date and time backup uh reset options about so let's go into about you got your wireless update uh, but we're not connected to the internet status uh battery level uh, sim and all that stuff and you've got your ram and build number and that that is about it for the system you got more uh, block unknown calls and auto answer so that's a good feature to have block unknown calls so that is the settings when you swipe it down swiping it up will bring your message notifications swiping it to the right will bring a split screen swiping it to the left will bring up your menu interfaces so let's see how much menu interfaces got this is the smart view and also the um crown does actually work as well so you can actually uh, scroll in and out so pushing it in you've got the second one this is like a smart view but it scrolls up and down and then you've got your list view which is my favorite then you've also got a grid view a grid view with all of the texts uh, same again a four grid view and then it just changed the font as well you've got also the wheel which uh, you can swipe through and you also got this wheel as well which is kind of cool uh you have this one and this one so it's got quite a few of menu interfaces let's go to the list view so phone as you can tell once your sim card is in you can make phone calls receive phone call notifications same again with messaging as well camera uh here is what the camera looks like good quality as, as you can tell <laughs> going into gallery and gives you your uh, pictures and your videos what you've taken uh, your internet browser which is not connected to the internet contacts uh, which there's no point in hiding because i've not uh, put a sim card in your call history which is a good feature to have so anything you can do on your android phone you'll be able to do on this android smartwatch which is the ultra version as well with the camera so you got your clock settings you've also got your stopwatch 
also got your music as well now as this has uh, 32 gig of memory you can store your music on here or connect it to your phone and store your uh, play your music from your uh, phone as well so you got your sound recorder a good feature to have a heart rate and blood oxygen sensor and as you can check this is a, a uh, Christmas flashing lights are going daft at the back so basically this has a timer as you can tell right there so once the timer is finished it just mimics fake readings as well so as you can see there's some flat well there was flashing lights going daft at the back and it's actually oh yeah there we go so once it hits you can see um some flashing christmas lights at the back and it'll probably give you a reading but you can definitely tell it's fake because it shouldn't actually take all that long uh, while it's on your wrist so you got your settings which you check your file explorer so all the uh files that you got audio images video you can applications apps uh, everything will be in here so you can delete them or update them however you like so here is some of the styles we've got so we've got honeycomb one honeycomb two lists three by three uh that's a three by three as well two by two seven by one circle wheel so it's got quite a few menu interfaces which is cool play store that is where you can download all of the apps now the reason why i'm not uh, connecting it to wi-fi or anything because it's going to be a long video if i connect it to wi-fi then download apps so what i'm doing is i'll be doing another video um to connect it to the internet and show you what it's like and how to use it so make sure you do subscribe for that hopefully the video will be out so you can check that out as well so google assistant uh, calendar uh, which is a good feature to have google go uh, calculator you can actually download uh, youtube on here and watch videos as well and pedometer so that is some of the features that is on this HK Ultra One. All good so far, to be honest. I do like the side mounted camera as well. So you can actually take some uh, secret pictures while it's on your wrist as well because it's actually placed on the side. So it's like a little spy camera and you can take videos on there as well. I'm going to end this video right here because if I carry it on, it's going to be too long. I will be doing another follow up video on this uh, to connect it to the app and also connect it to Wi Fi. Uh, also, do a little video and show you on screen what the quality is like on the camera and so on. So, this is video was just basically to unbox and review it just to see what features it's got. But the good features are it's got a camera, it's got a SIM card slot, 4G, it's got memory on it, uh, it's got loads of Android features. You can download apps as well, YouTube, TikTok, and, and so on. So, if you want to see any other videos, if I've missed any other videos, let me know in the comment section below. This is the HK Ultra One Android. Android smartwatch i hope you enjoyed this video thanks again for watching make sure you do subscribe as there's a lot more videos yet to come on also 